Good evening, hockey fans. The Hartford Puckhead is here with some big playoff news. Not one, but two playoff te- new, new playoff teams have joined the fray. And all because of the efforts of the Avalanche. Colorado's 3-2 shootout game over the Arizona Coyotes put not only the Blues, but the Golden Knights into the playoffs. Hmm. So that's three teams that the Avalanche have gotten that have helped get to the playoffs. Yet where is that gratitude back? After all, after all, we got the Sharks in, but last night they got the Blackhawks beat them in the Shark Tank. And while we were getting Vegas in, Vegas was at home letting Minnesota beat them. Would be nice if we got that same help back. Oh, well, they're just not as good as we are. After all, we beat better teams than that uh, blindfolded. That's Winnipeg. So, with that said, congratulations, and you're welcome, by the way, to the, to the Blues and the Golden Knights for getting into the Stanley playoffs. For the Blues, it, it makes up for last year because they had a playoff spot wrapped up until they fucked it up and couldn't beat us to get it. <laughs> and for Vegas, well, they're two for two. Second season of existence, second postseason. Uh, and uh, they haven't, they have yet to lose a Western Conference playoff series because, of course, they were, they made it all the way to the Stanford Cup final last year when they fell three wins short to win the Cup. So what's in store for them this year? We'll have to wait and see. And now, and now comes, and now comes the tricky part of this playoff push. There are now two spots left in the Western Conference. Two spots left. Um, St. Louis, St. Louis, who also lost uh, to the Rangers. Uh, St. Louis and Vegas got in, and they joined Winnipeg, Nashville, Calgary, and San Jose. In the Pacific Division, the top three spots were pretty much filled. So, None of them, none of those three, Calgary, San Jose, or Vegas, could finish lower than third in the um, in the Pacific. Um, Winnipeg, Winnipeg, National St. Louis, so their positions are still up for grass because there's four points between the three. And um, like I said, there are two spots left in the Western Conference in the Western Conference playoff, and according to my math, one of them can be clinched tomorrow. Dallas, all they need, all Dallas needs to do tomorrow is win, and they'd be in. We have one spot left, and a select number of teams competing for it, the Avalanche being one of them, and we are the front runners. We are three points ahead of Arizona, the, the number one bubble team. Uh, one team did get eliminated. Vancouver is gone fishing. So long. Uh, and Edmonton should be going there soon. So um, it, it's it's a matter of time. It's a matter of time, but I think the final week, uh, the final week will determine, will obviously determine what what happens. And, and, we'll, and hopefully, hopefully the Avalanche should uh, should we get in, we won't need the final day like we did last year. <laughs> but anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, uh, St. Louis and Vegas both clinch two spots left in the Western Conference, and the final was I think it's eight days now after tonight. We'll tell the tape. So I'll be back if there are any clinchings. If, if Dallas clinches tomorrow, I'll be back to congratulate them, and I'll have a recap after Sunday, after Sunday night's action. So until then, hockey fans.